Hello everyone, this is Aries here, and we're going to get into the fun stuff. I want to show you how to make a chest. Now, this one right here is just an example, and I'm going to let you see how it's made, and then I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. Now right here is the graphic. You're going to have it as a closed chest, and then you're going to have the sound effect come in, and you're going to tell it to slowly open with waiting and I'll get into that and you're going to tell it you're going to tell all of this to wait until that's done then you're going to insert the sound of like you got this item or whatever and then change text option is going to appear right there where you tell it to go and then you, you you'll tell it to say you have obtained blah 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 you looked into the chest and you got blah 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 and then right here, you're going to tell the chest to give you whatever item you want. And then this is the same as that. And the switch is basically telling it to stop once all of this has happened. So you won't keep on getting the same thing over and over again. Now this one is just saying the chest is empty. Whenever the chest, once you get the item out of the chest, it will say this chest is empty over and over and over. And you must include the fully open chest as the graphic. Because if you don't, as soon as this gets done running, the chest is going to disappear. And that's going to be weird. So now, let's get to it. Just give me a moment here. Okay. It doesn't matter where it has to, where you want to put it. So let's name it to chest. Okay, the only reason I do that is so that when you tell it to go through or whatever, and you'll see why, it'll show up. So go to, go to your graphic. It doesn't matter which chest that you use, but I'm using the first one. Now we're going to go to here. Go to SA. Look for chest. To whatever you want. Now we're going to go to here to set my root. This is where I said naming your events comes in handy. See this one is the example and this is the one that we're going to make. So click on that one. And now we're going to go to change graphic. Go to the next Okay, see, so you want this one right here. And you want to tell it to wait, like, one second. And then you just repeat the process, but make it more open each time. So it's going to be this one. You're going to tell it to wait to one. And then insert the last one. And then, okay. And then you come here. Until it wait for the route to complete. And now you're going to insert the sound effect of either item one or item two. It's up to you. Let's go with item two and put it to that right there. Okay. And now you're going to go here and, and say you have obtained a. It doesn't matter what item you want it to be, like if you want it to be like an elixir, just type in elixir or whatever you want it to be. Click OK. Now, then go to here, change six options to middle, show. And then now, you want to tell it to give us that item. Go to change items on the first tab. It's going to be on the right hand side. And since I want potion, I'll just leave that alone. And since you're getting one, you want to leave an old increase. And the constant is one if you just want one. And click OK. And go to here. Go to change text options, but go to the bottom and show OK. And now this is where the second event page comes in. So make a new event page. Now, 
because I said before, if you don't put that graphic in of the box still open, it's going to disappear. And make sure that it's consistent with whatever graphic you have. Now, you want it to say, like, something like, is empty. Okay. And now this is where the switch comes in. Make sure that's directional fix too. Same thing as the first one. Now this is where the self switch comes in. Click on here. You could name it either one of these, but I just keep it standard. Now all you gotta do is come here, go to control self switch, and since A was the one that we used, go to OK and okay now we're going to play test it save changes yes come on come on and yes I know there's no background music and I'll get to that later so here's our chest let's open it you have attained a potion the chest is empty the chest is empty and see, and that's how you do a test. If you have any questions, let me know. But only questions that deal with this tutorial. This is Eris signing off. Later, guys.